I can't believe what God has done. Through us, he's given light to one. And isn't he lovely, made from love? Uh, uh. Listen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place we call the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. This is a quick commentary and prayer that I'm sending out. To Krishan Jr., right? Yeah, Krishan Jr., Malone Jr. Um, it's very important that his parents are thinking correctly. Is 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 real important that they realize that that baby is so young, so young that it really has no business being out and around all these people because really after six weeks when your body is healed because that having a baby is not just a baby there's a lot of after effects going on I know you're still draining I know you still haven't, I don't know if you had a episiotomy or any of those things. However, I do know that that baby is susceptible to all types of germs. And you got a very toxic situation going on when you have a man that's worried about how many people touching his baby. Because we all knew that was a smoke screen. To, you know, you just, that was just a smoke screen. You could just look at him and see soft. So the fact of the matter remains, if you were conscious then about everybody holding your baby, why would you have your baby out the gas? Y'all have your baby out the gas station in Beemore and going into in the fall and he, not even a month old. This right here is totally irresponsible. Now, I know you're the parent. You can do whatever you want to do. Krishan... If you got a mother, then she should do some mothering right now. And she should say, honey, I know I can't tell you nothing because you've been hard-headed all your life. But what you're doing with that baby is you're putting his life in danger. You're putting his life in danger. So if anything should happen to the baby, baby gets sick, the baby come up with some kind of virus or something that you can't get rid of, know that you are responsible. Know that you are the catalyst to this happening, to this beautiful, beautiful little baby. I wish him well because he's going to have a long road to go. You got the step uh, kids and parents beefing with the mother. See, he got all this toxicity around him. He's, he is so much. And I usually don't like to do this kind of commentary, but I know that kids are in a hostage situation, and I'm compelled to. As a grand, I'm compelled to look out for the next generation. And what you doing, y'all doing to that baby is just not right. Y'all need to set y'all asses down somewhere. And if you don't want to sit down, then give some the baby to somebody that you can trust that will be sitting down, whether it's a nanny, whether it's help or whatever, because the baby don't got no business running the streets like grown folk. And it'll be sad if something happened to that baby for y'all to realize that you didn't treat them properly. And that's all I'm going to say. Put the baby down and leave the baby at home. The baby don't got no business outside like this. It, Lord, heaven help this child. That's all I can say. And with that being said, if y'all agree with me, let me hear your comment. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Christian ain't coming over here. Ain't nobody going to do nothing to you. I want to know how you feel about that. That little beautiful, precious baby out running the streets already. With his mama, who's still draining. 
we're out there. I'll see y'all in the next video.